Welcome to another Blueprint RT video. This video is part of a video series about Node-RED and in this video we're going to take a look on the inject node and the debug node. In general we can use the inject node to inject any kind of information while we can use the debug node to read this information and kind of monitor what's going on. So first of all the basics. We can use this button right here to inject the actual message or the actual information and we can use this button here to activate or deactivate the debug node. So once we press it here you see this one is getting uncolored and we now won't receive any messages on this debug node. This can come in handy in case you have many many debug nodes and you don't want to get crowded with all those messages and you want to take a look on one particular part of the flow, you can activate this part, deactivate everything else and in case you need it later you can reactivate it once more. To see what the debug node sees we have to switch over here on the side menu to the debug messages and we can see what's going on there. So right now we are injecting a timestamp so let's give it a try and you see here immediately the timestamp pops up here on the right hand side. As soon as we click on it we will get this information converted. It was encrypted and now we can see it in clear text. It's the date and the time. We already talked about those options in our previous video about the navigation. In case you missed it make sure to check it out here. But let's take a closer look on the inject node. By double clicking the node we can get all the menus and information we need about the inject node. First of all it's a bit confusing. We have timestamp here as a name. Here on the left hand menu we have inject but basically it's just filling in whatever information it can gather. If you want to make this as a static name we can just type down inject into the name field, press done and now it will stay as inject and won't change in case we select any kind of different data or information. Let's go back to the menu here. We have a bunch of options. First of all we can select how we want to call this part of the object because it's basically injecting an object. In case you wonder what an object is check out our previous video you will find over here. By default we're always talking about message.payload and message.topic. Those are the two default subsections of the object by node red but of course we can increase the object as we want. For example message.trees or message.topic. We already get a suggestion dot to whatever we want to go. But let's keep it simple for the moment and stay with the payload and topic. Of course we could work only with the payload but in case you're planning for a bigger flow it can get crowded and it's very helpful to specify the origin of your information in your topic. For example imagine you have a temperature sensor you could type down in the topic temperature sensor room number one or whatever and you know exactly what those temperature relates to you will find in the payload. But let's go with this example. Let's say our topic is the temperature sensor number one. So we defined this in our topic so everybody can sort it out later. Now we want to have the temperature itself transmitted. Of course the temperature can't be a timestamp. So we have to change the data type here. We have a bunch of options. In our case a temperature would be probably a number. So whatever 23 degree. Of course this information shouldn't be injected by an inject node, it should be injected by our temperature in sensor itself or the node that reads the temperature data from the sensor. But it's often the case that you have kind of a logic aligned and you want to play around with it so you kind of fake your sensor with the inject node. This can be very useful for testing. So we have our temperature value in our payload and we defined what kind of information we're transmitting in our topic. So let's give it a try. So here we go. So we receive our information. You see this is on hex code. So we can open it up and we see 23 degrees. So thanks for watching and make sure to be subscribed for our further videos where we will learn what else we can do with the inject and the debug node.